Hey guys, it's Winnie and I'm back today with a makeup review on this new L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. And this is a fairly new product. I found this at Target and I think I picked it up for about maybe $9 to $10. I can't remember exactly. And I have actually been in the market for a new foundation. So I picked this up in the color 320 Natural Beige, which I think is a really good match for my skin tone, especially now that I'm getting a little bit of sun and my skin's getting a little bit more tan. I think this is a really close match. So this foundation is supposed to be a liquid powder foundation. It's supposed to transform from a really liquidy consistency into a powder finish. And on the packaging, it claims to be a bare skin perfecting kind of makeup. It does have SPF 18 in it, and you do get 0.91 fluid ounces of foundation. So right off the bat, again, I was really drawn to the packaging, but after a little while of having it and using the actual foundation in it, I actually found that the packaging is kind of cumbersome because it is in a glass bottle and it has this little like twist off top and it just has a little opening. So it is kind of inconvenient that it's a twist off top and there is no pump or anything and the opening is so small, the only real way to get the product out is to pour it out or something. But right off the bat, I can tell that the foundation is a really liquidy consistency. You can hear it when you shake it and it is recommended that you do shake it before you use it. And actually I had this sitting on my counter for like a day or two and I could see the separation in the foundation so it's a really good thing to make sure you shake it up before you do use it. On the back of the packaging it is recommended that you just use your fingers to apply it onto your face and I can understand why because the foundation is such a liquid consistency it's a little bit too hard to work with with a brush or anything so again it is kind of inconvenient to have to like pour the foundation on the back of my hand and since it's so liquidy it kind of gets all over the place and it is a huge mess to deal with. Um, the first few times I used this, I actually got this all over my mirror and all over my table. So I definitely recommend being extra careful when using this foundation just because it could potentially create a huge mess for you guys. So I have been wearing this foundation for a few days now. I am wearing it on my face right now. And my first impressions of this foundation was that I thought it was a really nice consistency when I swatched on the back of my hand. I thought it was really silky. It just seemed really easy to blend and it felt lightweight and I did see the liquid to powder kind of finish on it so I was really excited to give this a try. Initially when I put this on I always do my regular face routine. I have a little bit of moisturizer before I put the foundation on and when I first applied it I thought that it felt very much like a primer actually. I just dabbed the foundation on my face and then blended it out with my fingertips and it just felt really silky. So with that said I thought there might be a primer kind of element to this foundation but it was actually the opposite. I found that it kind of made the foundation a little bit harder to blend because it was kind of like that, I don't want to say greasy, it just seemed to shift a lot instead of evenly blending out on my face. But I definitely recommend using your fingertips to blend it out on your face just because I think that is the easiest and the best way to blend this foundation out. I also think this is a light to medium coverage kind of foundation. I had to apply two layers to get coverage on my redness and my other blemishes. So that's another thing I didn't really like. I felt like you needed to put too much of this on to get a good coverage on your skin. And although it does claim to be a bare skin perfecting kind of makeup, the finish is supposed to look like natural bare skin, I found the opposite. I actually think it looks much too cakey on even after the first layer. Initially I thought this was a really lightweight kind of feeling makeup. I think it looks like too much makeup on your face. And for some reason this foundation makes my pores look really big and that is definitely something I do not want in my foundation. I think again it is the liquid consistency that really seems to seep into your fine lines and your pores and all your imperfections. And then once it sets it turns into this powder finish. It just seems to really amplify those horrible things so I really didn't like that about this foundation. So obviously this foundation has a powder like finish to it and it does set pretty quickly. I ended up not using a setting powder for this just because this is supposed to be a powder finish so I thought I could just eliminate that step. My t-zone gets a little bit oily throughout the day so I wanted to see how this would wear 
and although it's supposed to be kind of a semi-matte kind of powdery finish to this I did find that it made my skin pretty oily throughout the day I might not suggest this for people who have really oily skin just because I do think it creates more oil on your skin but since I do have combo skin and I do have some dryness on my face I actually didn't mind the fact that it became more of a dewy looking foundation throughout the day for me but I did have to powder my t-zone because that was getting kind of out of control because again the initial finish of this foundation is just too much it just makes my skin look extra dry makes my pores look extra big and it looks extra cakey and I just did not like that about it and last but not least the biggest deciding factor of this foundation was whether or not my skin would like this foundation and it did not it actually broke me out pretty quickly after the first day I had some redness and a little bit of bumps on my face and I I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt and I wanted to try it again and the more I used it the worse my skin got so I am doing this review for you guys, I'm wearing it just to show you guys what it looks like but I will probably not continue wearing this foundation because it keeps breaking me out and my skin does not like it at all. So I hope you guys found this review helpful if you guys were interested in trying out this new Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation from L'Oreal. Or if you guys have tried it and you guys had a different experience with it, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe for more future review videos and leave me a comment below if you guys have a product suggestion that you want me to review and I will see you guys next time.